Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront updates and some Star Wars gaming news. It's been a while since I did one of these videos because there's been a lot of talk about Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga for good reasons. But we've actually got a really exciting new announcement in regards to a brand new Star Wars game. And we already have like 8 I think in the works. So this really took me by surprise. And it's also something that we might also have an idea of what it could actually be about. But before we get into that, I wanted to give a shout out to my sponsor Elgato. If you guys are interested in knowing more about the products I use when I make my videos and live streams, such as microphones, capture cards, stream decks, green screens, and much more, make sure to check out the link in the description below to get a glimpse of the best content creation products available on the market. But now, let's get straight into the news. So today Lucasfilm Games announced that they are actually working on another brand new Star Wars game helmed by the new studio called Sky Dance New Media. And this studio is actually led by Amy Hennig, who a lot of you might know. But in case you don't know, Amy Hennig is an award winning writer behind games such as Legacy of Cain, Jack and Daxter and most importantly the Uncharted series. And another very interesting thing is that she already worked on a Star Wars project that actually got pretty far, Project Ragtag with Visceral Games under EA. This game was cancelled in 2019, the same year that she actually started this studio afterwards, and there was a lot of issues around that game, everything from EA's business plan to the Frostbite engine to Amy apparently not being very easy to work with, a lot of things ultimately led to that game getting cancelled, although it was apparently quite far into development, and they even released these snippets of gameplay that showed us how the game was gonna look. So I personally think this is actually good news because this means that Lucasfilm Games were actually confident in the stuff that she was doing because they're giving her another shot at creating a brand new Star Wars game. And it's yet again a narrative driven action adventure game featuring an original story in the Star Wars galaxy. And now that she's actually in the control of this studio, it means that she has all the possibilities to make this actually succeed. And since Skydance New Media is a brand new studio, they haven't released any games yet as it was formed in 2019. However, in late 2021, they actually announced that they are in partnership with Marvel Entertainment creating another old new game with an original story and unique take for beloved Marvel characters. So it's Seems like Lucasfilm slash Disney, I guess, really trust Amy and her team since they've now got two projects from what I would argue their two biggest IPs, Star Wars and Marvel, both being helmed by Amy Hennig. So I'm very confident that this could turn out to be an amazing game because she's already had a chance to work on this before and sure it didn't work with EA's engine, with EA's business plan, with the way they worked, but now she has the full control and the possibility to work directly with Lucasfilm and make this into something awesome. Other than that, we don't get a whole lot of details on the project, which makes sense they probably started working on it very recently but I was honestly really surprised about this because there are currently so many projects in the works and just to give you a quick recap we have Ubisoft's open world Star Wars game, we have Star Wars Eclipse, Star Wars Hunters, a KOTOR remake, Lego Star Wars that just released as well as Respawn's two Star Wars games, one which is an FPS shooter and one which is a strategy game. Plus I almost forgot Fallen Order 2 of course which is most likely the next game to be revealed probably at Star Wars Celebration next month. So there's a huge lineup of Star Wars games coming from some really big developers and publishers which has me really excited to not see the license tied up at EA anymore. I'm still really excited for EA's I guess three Star Wars games, especially Fallen Order, but this is what we all hoped for. Let all studios and all publishers have their shot at Star Wars, because if then one of them fails, it's not the end of the world, because we have like five, six, seven others working on Star Wars games. And I know how strict Lucasfilm are with their games, so they're not just gonna slide any developer or game out the door, but it's probably gonna be high quality stuff, because so far everything that has been released has been good. Like Battlefront 2 had its issues at launch, but it turned out to be an amazing game. Fallen Order was great. Squadrons might have died out, but I mean, it did a fantastic job at launch. And now we got Lego Star Wars, which I would say is a big success as well. So overall, the future of Star Wars games is looking very bright to say the least. 
but many of the games are years out so we're gonna have to be a little bit patient. We just got LEGO Star Wars, Star Wars Hunters is probably releasing honestly any month now out on all platforms and locations and then Fallen Order is probably gonna be revealed next month with a release date either late this year or next year. After that the wait is gonna be a little bit longer I think until we get some more games but once those start rolling out we're gonna have hopefully at least one Star Wars game a year. But that brings this video to an end. If you guys want to stay up to date with all things Star Wars gaming, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, may the Force be with you.